In this video, you are going to learn about badge, what exactly is badge, and how you can use badges. So in iOS 15 and Xcode 13, you can create very simple badges. And badges are just a text which can give you some additional information about the items which are displayed in list rows and tab bars. You cannot really use it outside of list rows and tab bars. So that's uh, something to remember. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and create a grocery list. You can see that this is just a string array with Walmart, Fiesta, HEB, and Albertsons. And let's say that I want to display this particular list or grocery list in a Swift UI view. So I'm going to use a list control and I'm just going to go ahead and iterate through it. Just going to say store in and however I want to display that particular list by using whatever control, I'm just going to use a text control. And since this is a array of strings, I should be just easily able to display the list. Now in an actual application, each of this list, each of these grocery I list, which is the store, Walmart or Fiesta or HEB or Albertson, they may have some items in there. So that can be represented by something called a badge. You can see that you have many different things that you can provide over here for the badges. Uh, you can provide different kind of a text if you want to provide another text view or count for just a number. And I can go ahead and pass this around. So I can say the name of the store or the store itself dot count, which means that our badges are basically based on the length of the characters with each store name. Obviously, in real application, this will be the number of items you have added to that particular store. But just to keep it simple, I'm just showing you that each of these badges are created in a list and they're displaying it on the extreme right hand side. So that's the whole point of the badge. Um, according to the documentation, you should only use badges inside the, dis the list rows and tab bars and keep the content of the badge as short and as small as possible. And that's pretty much it. That's the badges in iOS 15 and Xcode 13. If you like this video and want to support my channel, then the best way would be to check out my courses on Udemy. I have many different courses ranging from Core Data to Swift UI, RX Swift, MVVM Design Pattern for UI Kit, as well as MVVM Design Pattern in Swift UI, new course on GraphQL, Combine, Machine Learning, Flutter, and so much more. Check out the links in the YouTube description. Thank you so much and I hope that you enjoyed the video.